Hey guys, today I am at Platinum Motor Cars in Birmingham, Michigan with a very, very special vehicle, a Porsche 918 Spider. So this car is one of the three vehicles that kind of formed the um, holy trinity of hypercars that came out. They were all hybrid. And funnily enough, the Porsche actually is considered the affordable, less rare one because this one they built 918 of them, 918 Spider, 918 cars. The other two, the LaFerrari, they built 500 coupes and then 200-ish, 210 Apertos convertibles. The P1 was the most exclusive, 375. When they came out, this was also the cheapest one with $887,000 considered cheap. This car itself is, I think, stickered for $977,000. So it was actually under a million, whereas the P1 and the LaFerrari were over a million dollars. Now that we're a couple years away, I mean, they, this car is for three, three, four years old now. Um, the prices haven't, usually cars depreciate, right? Like a turbo, 911 turbo over there is gonna depreciate. This did not. This went from 977,000 to it's for sale for right around $1.8 million. And that's still considered not the most expensive. You can get a 918 for a little bit less. This one is a Wysock package car. So that's why it's more expensive, more desirable. Uh, but I mean, LaFerraris are what, two, three, four million. Um, P1s are at least right around 1.8 to 2 million plus. Uh, so again, these cars are all very, very insanely expensive. 918 specifically, I mentioned kind of the basics of it. Let's talk powertrain. Everything you need to know about this car. It's very, very complicated in advance. It's a hybrid, like I mentioned. 4.6 liter flat plane crank V8 back here, uh, mid-engine. And then the hybrid electric motors. You've got one up front on the axle and one in the back. It's like 120 something horsepower up here and 156 in the back. And the key thing is, unlike the La Ferrari, which is engine on at all times, you can drive this in pure electric mode. This and the P1 had that feature. You can drive, it starts in dead silence. You can um, have it in pure electric with the electric motors or the engine kicks on for the full 887 horsepower and 944 pound feet of torque, um, something like that. It's, a lot, a lot of power. The window stickers over there, we'll check that in a second. I want to talk about the Wysock specifically because some people might be like, oh my God, there's a 918 for sale for 1.4. Why is this one 1.8? Well, that package was $84,000 when you bought this car brand new. That's an option. $84,000. Let's check that box. Um, and it really helps the value because it's about weight savings. This car set the Nuremberg lap record when it came out uh, for production cars, 6 minutes, 57 seconds. And that car had the package on it. Power is unchanged, but it has more aerodynamics. You see those little like canard wing things on the back. Um, and then again, weight savings. It's got magnesium wheels, lighter brake design. It's got like ceramic wheel hubs, like all these little things. It doesn't have like conventional automotive paint. It's this like film coating or something that goes on it that's supposedly lighter. Um, so it's very hardcore and extreme. Everything on this car is carbon fiber. You open up things on it and it's, it's insane how much carbon fiber there is. I've got the key here. Um, it's painted white to match the car. Let me grab the window sticker. All right, so now we have the window sticker right here. $977,200. Um, the paint to sample was $21,000 with the Wysock package included. The base price was 929 grand. The front axle lift was $10,500. You want the piping on the inside, which I'll show once we get in the car. This is like the, the red, the red not stitching, but like the piping on the seats and on the doors, that was $7,000. The vehicle key painted. So this vehicle key is the same white as the car's paint. Uh, that was $1,400. It, it, <laughs> these, these numbers are absolutely insane. Now here's the uh, powers, 129 horsepower for the front motor, 156 for the back one. Combined 887 and 944 pound feet of torque. So if we talk about styling, I mean, it's, it's unmistakably a Porsche. It follows the styling of the whole family. I think this debuted the, the four like, points for the uh, daytime running lights that all the 911s, the Panamera, the Cayenne Macan, they all use that now. Um, I think this is the most conventionally, not conventionally, conservatively styled one out of the three. The LaFerrari is a little more extreme, the P1's a little more extreme, but it's beautiful. The perfect mid-engine proportions, it's sculpted, it's aerodynamically functional, and everything's carbon fiber, it's got the huge wing out back. It's, it's gorgeous, and all white, it's very clean. Some of them you can get the Martini package, the Wysock uh, livery, um, could be optional that. Those look really cool, race inspired, but just all completely white, I think looks awesome. We can run through the numbers real quick. We don't get to drive it, um, obviously. I actually would be terrified to drive this car because $1.8 million, um, but it's really, really fast. So 887 horsepower with the Y socket's around 3,600 pounds, all wheel drive, 
tons of torque from electric motors. Tested a zero to 60, two and a half seconds, top speed like 214, um, zero to 100 in under five seconds. It's an absolute rocket ship. Quarter mile, pretty much 10 flat. So it set the bar for absolute insane performance. But here's something really interesting that intrigues me really. This is a hypercar, a uh, million dollar vehicle. And now a couple years later, you can buy a 720S for know, three, four hundred thousand dollars that is just as fast. So that's how technology is advancing. It's really, really cool. The GT2 RS beat this car around the Nürburgring. It set the record. Um, and that's an affordable Porsche supercar versus this thing, which is like four times the price. So it's cool how technology is advancing. Oh my God. Okay, let's get in the car and see some other details. And I'll walk around with the other camera and show you guys the, uh, the things on this 918 Spider. All right, now let's do a nice in-depth walk around of the details on the 918. Like I already mentioned, the headlights with the four dots in the middle. Let's see if I unlock the car. I'll show you the key. It comes with this nice little pouch. There's a button on the back, and then this little strap is hooked in, so you can, it's hard to do with one hand. <sighs> there you go. This white on the key, the person, whoever spec this one spent a lot of money to match the paint. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Oh, geez. I just locked the 918 Spider. I'm going to unlock the 918 Spider. <laughs> so we've got fuel here. It says fuel. Um, little cap there. On the other side, we've got the electricity charging port, E power. So you can plug this thing and charge it because it can run pure electric mode. Charging socket right there. And then another one of the coolest features is the top mounted exhaust. So this 4.6 liter flat plane crank V8, 608 horsepower with exhaust just shoots skyward and they will shoot flames. Oh my God, that's, that's amazing. Um, it's just beeping and locking at me. Lots of carbon fiber, the big wing. These are the aero pieces on the y stock package specific. Carbon fiber diffuser. Looks like the backup camera is all the way down here. This is gorgeous. 918 Spider and the nice lime green script. These tail light shapes. The new 911s are kind of also similar shaped. So again, like I was saying, the styling really does evoke the whole Porsche family. A lot of little details that uh, even if it was completely debadged, if you're a car guy, I think you'd recognize it. Let's get in the car in a second. Other things on the uh, y stock package, you got magnesium wheels, which are very light and very expensive. Look at those gigantic carbon ceramic rotors, the lime green calipers. It's running on cup twos, 265s up front and how wide are the rears? Uh, Pilot Sport Cup 2s. In the back, we got 325. So that's a lot of rubber to put down that 944 pound feet of torque. Let's get in the car now. <laughs> Listen to those noises when you just unlock the car. Lots of carbon fiber everywhere. The entire door panel. It's got the satin finish here. This, as I mentioned, $7,000 red piping. All carbon fiber door sill. You get your uh, fire extinguisher, carbon fiber floor mats, the racing buckets. Uh, it's actually in a lot of different uh, Porsche GT cars, and I can option these in a GT3, GT3 RS. But you've got the script here, the embossed Porsche logo. That's all carbon fiber. The rear tub, you can see, is all carbon fiber. Red seat belts. This giant center-like column screen thing, which I'll show in a second when I hop in. Oh, my God. I'm going to take the long way around to the driver's door, because uh, why wouldn't you? Just stare at this thing. All right. All right, now we're inside the 918. Look at the doors. Similar buttons shared with the uh, other Porsches. It has a Burmeister sound system, which was an option. The center cluster has got three main screens. You've got, this is number 472. It's got 2,700 miles on it. Your tack in the middle with a speedometer that goes to 225 miles an hour. Here's your like fuel range stuff here. Steering wheel has a lot of buttons and stuff on it. Um, I think this debuted the 918 Spider style wheel, which the 911s have adopted now. Oh my God, there's just so much going on here. Key, as of all Porsches on the left. Insert the right way up. It's in. Whew. Okay. So if we turn it all the way on, it's on now. That's in E power mode though. So it's pure electric, it starts up. Look at that. Oh my God. The center screen here. This is amazing. 
All the noises, the, the way you feel when you're sitting in this car, it's like you're in a race car, literally. A couple more details about the 918. The transmission is a PDK, 7-speed. It's actually the same one they had in the Turbo S Porsche from the 911, but they actually had to flip it upside down for, I believe, packaging reasons. Um, I mentioned the top speed, the horsepower, how fast it is. It, it, I'm not driving it now, but from everything I've heard and seen and read, it's obviously staggeringly quick. But just sitting in the car, but just sitting in a car, this is kind of funny. This is the, uh, the shifter. It's just a little like vestigial little stub right there with the vehicle information here. You can pull up navigation, phone, pretty good responses, media, tuner. I don't want to play it. Nope, turn the music off. All the way down here, a little bit of storage space. It has a cup holder. The 918 Spider has a cup holder. Okay, let's do one thing though. That is what it sounds like when it turns on. <laughs> Oh God. All right. That's crazy. What if I do this? That's hybrid mode and now back into e-power. It should turn off, I thought it would turn off. Nope. Ah, hot lap, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'll turn it off then. That was crazy. So there we go. That was uh, kind of a quick walk around of the 918 Spider, showing you some of the details, providing some information on it. I am utterly in awe. This this is one of the holy trinity of hypercars. Uh, I remember when they launched, and it was so insanely exciting. And getting to see one in person, kind of play around with it, is very very cool. Uh, hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you're in market for a 918 Spider, here is a beautiful Wysock one available at Platinum Motor Cars in Birmingham. If you aren't looking to buy a 918, but you want another cool car, they've got tons here. I mean, I'm looking at a Viper ACR, an Alex Tillman, um, a couple Porsche Turbos, AMG GT, what? Alex, Alex is very affordable. Um, you can purchase him for less than the cost of the wheels on this car. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go play with some M5s now, but hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching. I don't wanna get out now, I'm just gonna stay here. These are actually really comfortable seats. I'm surprised. I'm just gonna stay here now. Sorry, Syed, I live at Platinum now, in the 918.